High flow and high VNI are very different in that high VNI does use high flow, but the most important thing is it uses high velocity. And what that does is it flushes out the dead space so that when the patient breathes in, they don't have that rebreathing of the CO2 that's in their hypopharynx. Because of that high velocity, every breath they take is fresh air that's rich in oxygen and low in CO2. The types of patients that are particularly successful, we've talked a lot about bronchiolitis, but the other patient population that it works really well for is our asthma patients. Because asthma patients do very poorly if they're put on a ventilator because they can't they have air trapping. So high v &I is super helpful for, for asthmatics because it's an open system, so you don't have that issue with air trapping. And asthma patients, work of breathing obviously is very important because CPAP and BiPAP are sometimes used in the very sick asthmatics, but it's typically to try to keep them off the ventilator. It's really important to try to keep an asthma patient off a ventilator. They tend to do very poorly on ventilators. The second to the last thing you want to do is intubate an asthma patient. The last thing you want to do is intubate an asthma patient too late.